Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans, corn, and wheat all finished higher on Thursday, supported largely by an oversold bounce. Also during this latest round of trade negotiations with China, China has agreed to buy another $30 billion of U.S. products, but it remains to be seen exactly what that entails or when these purchases are going to start. Also this upcoming Friday, the USDA is going to be issuing six weeks of export sales numbers, most of which were delayed by the recent government shutdown. Those could be interesting or it could be another non-market mover. Live and feeder cattle were mixed ahead of the week's widespread direct cash cattle business. Direct cash cattle markets by early Thursday afternoon remained fairly quiet, but that is ahead of another winter storm in some of the major feeding areas and ahead of Friday afternoon's delayed USDA cattle on feeder port. Hogs closed higher, supported by an oversold bounce and some cautious optimism about China. Delayed cold storage numbers were out on Friday. Hogs are also kind of uncertain at this point about potential Japanese tariffs on U.S. pork. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.